Kumusta mga kapaglaom? Happy Sabbath! Ado na ba kita yung mga kinahanglan o panghinaot nga gawa sa atong magaya? Nagsaad si Ginoong Hesus, mga kapaglaom. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, He will give you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Ato makita kini sa Juan 16, 23 nga 2, mga 24. Ang ginoo naghulat lamang sa atong pagsangpit. Busa, atong pangayoon, ang giyas balang espiritu, samtang atong buhaton karon ang 7-7 prayer, magampo kita. Dalaygon nga Diyos, ginoo sa langit, tag-iya sa adlaw ng ipabulay. Naghatag ka na mo pahinumdong sa kagawasan, gikan sa mga balatian, either physical, mental, social, or spiritual, bisan sa among pinansyal. Nga sa diha, ng among mga kinabuhi, among giintsyon diha ni mo, ang among mga pagsalig, among gikling diha ni mo, makasiguro kami sa imong tubag te ko Diyos man nagamhanan, nagapaluna sa tanan o doon ay linibu ka paagi sa pagsangkap sa mga paagi. Patuhuan kami, matag ka ron kunya, magtubo ang among pagtuo, aron mabat na na among tinuod nga kalipay. Sa ngala ni Sos, ang ipangayo. Amen. Good morning mga kapaglaom and happy Sabbath. As we pray today, let the promises of God be in our mind as we claim according to what He has promised. Welcome to Let's Pray Visayas. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, yes, kapaglaom. Good morning. Man. Praise God. Indeed, mga kapaglaom. Good morning, kaninyo. And we want to claim God's promise that is already an assurance that we will hear. He will hear us. Andam na sab kaming muampo sa mga pinadalang prayer requests o praise reports. Yes, mga kapaglaom, kung ugaling na bati ni mo, nga ikaw na ginusara sa imong problema, ato nang itugyan sa ginoo kuyog sa atong mga kapaglaom sa nagkanlaing dapit. Nalipay kaming magabi-abi sa inyong mga pag-ampo kauban. Ni kapaglaom siya. Kapaglaom, Renan. O kapaglaom, Rumi. Kay din his salit pribisayas. Dili ka magnusara sa pag-ampo. Once again, good morning and welcome to Let's Pray Visayas. Good morning. And we would like to greet our viewers sa nagkalain ng mga lugar. Maybe they're watching via Facebook Live or Hope Channel TV 25 or GSAT Channel 33 or pwede sa FM Radio. Maayong buntag and happy Sabat sa inyong hangtanan. Yes. Atun man ginapanamyaw ang mga kailungguhan dira sa Bacolod, Iloilo, part sa Negros Oriental, uh, subong man sa mga kailungguhan dira sa North o sa South Cotabato o sa Sok Sargent areas. Yes. Madamo git kita sa mga nagatanaw sa aton nga tuluman nun. So, damo git nga salamat sa inyo nga pag-upod sa amon sa pag-ampo kada Sabado. Di na ito malimta na ito mga kaupo din he, mga kaigsoon din he sa Cebu mismo. Mm -hmm. Oo, no, ito mga kabukiran. <laughs> Di nais kabukiran nga nagasunod usab sa ato mga tuluman nun. O niya sa Lapu-Lapu, Mandawi o sa Bantayan Island. O doon ay mga part din sa South Carolina na nag-report nga nagasunod usab sila sa ato mga tuluman nun matag sa Bado. Praise the Lord. Yes, we also like to greet our viewers in Masbate, in mm. Bohol, in Bacolod, and also to our online viewers uh, from uh, in Canada. Hello yes. to Liz Dungalian family and also to uh, Sabran family. And uh, just last week, ang ito ang women's ministry in Bohol, they had a spiritual retreat uh, from August 17 to 18. We praise the Lord for the success praise. of the event. And yeah, hello God. to Ate Caro Lamarine and family. I'm sorry I wasn't able to make it good, <laughs> but we still praise God for the success of the event. Yes, yeah. kapag laong siya, ato ang di ay mga counterparts sa nagkalain-laing mga Hope Radio stations. Yes. O mga Hope channels uh, there. Each of us, no, kay very supportive to each of our programs. That yeah. it's so inspiring that uh, everybody is trying to help out each station. Yes, and you can search uh, that online. And mm -hmm. if you are in Mindanao, especially ang atong mga Hope Radios in uh, Iligan City. Yes. Um, I just forgot the oh. the specific. I don't know. Um, uh, FM frequency. Frequency. Uh -oh. uh, in Bukid Non, we have Long Vine Hope Radio, uh, the XBC in. Uh, Davao, na po tayo Hope Channel din ha, yes. na po tayo Let's Pray program, and even there is an area somewhere in Butuan. And by the way, hello to 
uh, the parents of Riri and Ruru, our twins oh. here, the Risa set. Uh, hello, Auntie, uh, to the Navarro family in San Francisco that's okay. somewhere in Butuan. Yes. Uh, Pastor Sheen of Hope Radio Jansan, kanunay nagsunod ka na ito ang nagsuporta. Um, na atay, let's pray po di ay, uh, that recently started as well sa Davao. Yeah. Og, uh, sa Hingoog. So, nagka, praise God for this growing ministry. That's It's so nice right. to feel that we have a lot of counterparts yeah. everywhere else. And yeah, mga kapaglao, <laughs> that's right. Nagpasalamat po mi kaninyo kay inyo ginming inaubanan halos kada adlaw o hal halos kada sabado sa pag-ampo. Yes, and Let's Pray Live is originally from Hope Channel in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And you can also check that on Facebook and even in YouTube. So, sa ato ang growing a ministry, dili kini mahimong successful without our uh, prayer warriors and especially yes. ato mga uh, viewers, prayer request senders, prayer support senders. And if you want to know more about Let's Pray Visayas, you can actually catch us every Saturday, 7 to 8 in the morning by tuning into your local TV channel 25 if you are here in Cebu and uh, if you are around Bacolod area that you can uh, tune into 88.7 FM that's via the CPAC FM radio and by the way we would like to thank yes. the <laughs> media ministry in uh, the Central Philippine Adventist College and if you have mobile data or Wi-Fi connections wherever you are if you're yes. traveling you can even watch us the replays if you cannot make it in every right. Saturday episodes no you can search faith Uh, let's pray Visayas on your Facebook accounts. Yes, and mga kapaglam, if you want to watch the replay for this episode, you can also catch us every 7.30 to 8.30 in the evening through GSAT Channel 33, Diha Ang Ato Ang National Broadcast. And uh, of course, uh, like what uh, kapaglaom Chet mentioned, it is also on Facebook. That's right. And by the way, we'd like to greet also our viewers from the Western uh, Mindanao Conference. Yes. Uh, around Asami, Sambuanga del Sur, Sambuanga del Norte, dagan mm -hmm. tayo taog mga supporters din na. Right. Salamat kapag laom che. Sa TV man o sa Facebook Live, mamahi mo na ninyong ipadangat ang inyong mga prayer request o praise report. Send it to us by searching Let's Pray Visayas on our social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will be glad to receive them and pray for you. That's right. And you may also send us a text message for smart subscribers. You can simply send it to 0947-413-7010. You can save it on your mobile phones para every Saturday or any time of the day. You can send it ang message. Again, that's 0947-413-7010. 413-7010 for smart subscribers and if you're a globe subscriber send it to 0977-240-7298 or kung naaka din sa Cebu niya naaka landline phone call us in the hotline 412-2100 local 120 and mga kapaglam if your prayer request is confidential please specify by writing confidential para dili kinina mo i-air pero of course, amo kaning iuban sa pag-ampo off-air, kuyog sa among mga prayer warriors. That's right. And it's indeed a blessing to be part of the prayer ministry, right? Oh, it's God for that. Pastor. Yes. And so, atong uh, nahiskutan sa mga niagi ni ng mga mm -hmm. simana about language since buwan ng wika managidari sa Pilipinas mm -hmm. since it's August. <laughs> And we've talked about uh, the Tower of Babel. And this morning, there's also another very interesting topic in the Bible about uh, language. Kapag lang rin na, Pastor, naaba mo ilain nga language nga fluent din ka ayaw mo mo istorya? Kini sa amo, dialik na mo. Bantayan nun nga sinutihan fluent din ko na. No, wala din ko. Ako no ka na mga... Well, like crash course lang din ko kay Pierre Cebuano. Gini ko ka paglaminan. Ang sa amo ah, sa Sok Sargent, kay sa kadaghanan din itong mga Ilonggo mga mga migrants from Iloilo and Bacolod. So, I grew up speaking Ilonggo and a mix of Hiligay nun. Okay, naaman daw ko na yung difference gamay ang Hiligay nun o ang Ilonggo. And then eventually, I learned to speak Bisaya, Bisaya Mindanao, and Cebuano here. Yeah, it's different. So I found out when I came here to study that my Bisaya in Mindanao was different from the Cebuano here. Oh, oh. Kaya nung maingon daw ka sa Cebu nga, daot kayo ka, kaya nang meaning slim ka. Pero kung, marami itong, 
Ang daot mo gud kung sa Cebuano sa Mindanao ka mura lang gud kagay na bedridden nga protein gud. Sakit maayo no. So <laughs> me being so slim for so long no, very consistent yung sa ko ang weight. Ning na gud song friend by the time nga naabot ko sa Cebu nga ay kanang siya ayo bi ka ayo galain ha daot ilang tawag sa modere pero ayun may mind. <laughs> no suna so, akin difference sa ato ang languages and there's beauty in diversity. Mm, there and a there's a wonderful bible story nga nag-show po aning diversity sa languages and mm-hmm. this is found in the book of Acts chapter 2 this is about the Pentecost and some of the Pentecost pastor last topic we had discussed regarding the uh, the different languages multilingual mm-hmm. no atong hinunumduman nga ang tuyo sa Ginoo nga giguba ang ilang tuyo tungod kay tinawhan nun ra because God has a purpose mm-hmm. karon imo makita nga kining nahitabo sa Pentecost nakabisita mo gud ko Uh, pagkapaglaong mm. rinan sa Mount Dapit. Sa Mount Zion di ini, mm-hmm. nahita mo. Doon good sa story of David. O niya, mihimo may mga interview dito sa mga, uh, sa itawag ani, mga mulupyo dito. Mm-hmm. Din hagin nahita mo, panahon nila ni Peter. Kay sila, they used to have this program na every year, doon na sila di unong katuig na piyesta. Mm-hmm. O unong kapanahon nga, required sila nga mutambong nga, sa diha na tungod sa kalayo, tungod kay na-spread out na maning maayo ang mga diyo, doon lang yung tulog ka pista nga naa sila. Na kanang panahon na, ang uban na lang mitambong sa pista, wala pagod kayo, talagsa na kaan si Israel, dili kayo sila kasulti, mm. o pinulungang Aramaic or Hebro, mm. ang hitabo nga si Peter, sa diha ka nagwali sila siyang audience, ang ginoo may gamit nila, gitawag Glasolea, ang pulo ka na nga, Uh, gitawag nga uh, speaking of tongue. But mm. pasabot ng purpose ade for evangelism. Okay. Sa ato pa. Gigamit itong hitabu uh, for evangelism. Ang resulta, nakita na ito nga, it results 5,000 souls. Imagine, mm. ana. Sa ato pa, ang ginoo, sa gihapon, pwede mo gamit sa itong panahon mm-hmm. for the purpose of the same purpose. Okay. So, ang um, meaning or ang pasabot sa Pentecost is, is the commemoration of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit na ang mga apostles, they were able to speak different languages and the aim of that is for evangelism. Despite of their education, mm-hmm. oh, pero God used them mightily when the Holy Spirit was what? Mm-hmm. Where the Holy, when they experienced the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Sa to pa, Uh, in the absence of the Holy Spirit, wala pa gudi ay sila nagkahimo ang ilang kumbutan. Mm. Nasa ato pa, never mind, never the least, kung unsa kang pagkatao, apan sa diha nga, if your heart uh, is open mm. for the Holy Spirit, sa ato pa, magamit ang ginomihimo ang kumbutan sa iyong kaliwala, just like what had happened before. So, muna gingo sa kanta no nga, Just ordinary people. Yes. God uses ordinary people. And so, if wala pa nato nahibawan ang story, they said Acts mm-hmm. chapter 1, if we can trace yes. back. So, nahitabo ni siya after sa ascension ni Jesus Christ. So, kung mm-hmm. manaman crucifixion, yes. pag-ascend niya sa heaven, ang iyahang mga disipulo, wala sila nag-uul. You know, kanang usay, yes. kanang usong sa ito pa rin, karoon si Punk, si ano, separation anxiety <laughs> nga. Hala, wala ka una, wala, oh, or mo asa na si oh. Jesus Christ. But they, their hearts will, were filled with hope. Kay ingon ang ginoo nga, naa siya ihatag nga gift para sa ato ang naadari sa kalibutan. And para siya mga disciples nga, mo ihimuon niyang representative while naa siya sa heaven. And what's so nice, kasi siya ang ato ang advocate na agi siya tapad sa iyahang Father in Heaven to be our advocate. So when we pray, na asya sa kiliran para ma- ang ato mga praises, ang ato ang mga supplications, ato mga panghangyo, our deepest desires, ato mahatag dito sa ginoo. And usa man yung ma-feel kapag laumbrenan ko, kana bang naakay, kabalo ka nga, naakay advocate in Heaven. Yeah. Uh, while you were saying that, Ba, um, <coughs> looking at uh, our current uh, or at present time mm. na kung naatay mga documents nga i-process mm. um, or let's say we have to go to a certain office kina atay transactions so, mga institutions oh, oh. kung wala tay kaila to not necessarily mga kapaglao <laughs> because we want to take advantage sa atong mga kaila yeah, no? muli niya ragi hapunta muli niya ragi hapunta oh. and follow to sa process it is advantageous 
uh, whenever you know somebody there to ask kung unsang man gyud ay ang sakto na kong buhaton. Mm. So there is this feeling of confidence. assurance and confidence. Yes, yeah, so more about mo ato ka sa Adventist Hospital Cebu. Ay na si Pastor uh, Romeo Stresimo mm -hmm. dito. Pwede ta mga ni og tabang asa man didapita ang office ani right. ang doctor or pwede ko magpa-pray mi diri sa amo ang uh, room sa pasyente. Yes. So kanang ina na nga feeling no na kay kaila. Oo, oh, oh, oh. nga. Um sama na to nga gitagaan ta ana nga privilege kini o pag Uh, balik niya sa langit kay maupon niya ang na-feel sa mga disciples. Mm -hmm. That's why they did not uh, become really sad and nag-mourn yung silang maayo mm -hmm. na maghilak or in somebody had. They were even happy because of the feeling that they are assured uh -oh. na naa ang ginoo to intervene or to um, what do we call this? Kanang magpatunga siya oh. and siya ang mo intercede. Oh, for us. Sa program mo yun, kapag lang at uminom duman na the second person has a limited uh, in terms of scope. Mm -hmm. That's why the Holy Spirit, the third phase on, because na siya gitawag nga, uh, role ba nga, He has transcended in any places. Mm. Sa to, pa makaadto siya, He is everywhere according yeah. to the Bible. That's why He is so, representing Jesus Christ here on earth yes. after the ascension. And also, what's so nice, because the kind of prayers that the, the disciples did, Dili ta magwonder kung halo gyud sa nila pag pray di unta kabalo kay wala man ta sa ilahang time mm -hmm. but the bible is very clear yes. and even the spirit of prophecy <coughs> if we read acts of the apostles chapter 4 mga right. kapaglaom makita nato no unsa di ay ang ingredient unsa ang formula sa klase nga prayer na sure ta nga dunggon sa Ginoo mm -hmm. and nakita nato ni sa mga disipulo and it is worthy of emulating pwede nato gamiton pwede nato sunon karon sa atong mga prayers yes sa atong time and unsa man il ilang gibuhat ato nga paglaomay nan um, if we go back to how it was described mm. in the bible it was intense and full of um, eagerness jud ang pagpray ni mm. nano atong <coughs> earnest yud sila. earnest oh. there uh, the, rather <coughs> the bible give us an idea nga the first thing that the apostles did the one the solve all their problems because there was a decision mm. between the disciples. Mm. Once they will uh, <coughs> solve the, this, the disagreement in between of all disciples and then they try to empty themselves, that's why the Holy Spirit will come in and then it proved that the Holy Spirit can bring their lives. Mm. There was a total change in their lives. So, yes. <coughs> important today ay mo nga, kanang mga decisions, pangusa din ang mga problema na to, and I'll do the innovation inside the church, mm -hmm. even now still existing. And it needs to be one to, to give an attention. Kina taga na to kinig daku ka yung mga pagtagad sa mm -hmm. sa tong church. Sa to pa kung ma, ang una din na to dag on meaning uh, kinig yung atong self because the greatest warrior ever, according to Ellen White, is one. Ang self. 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 Yes. Once ngang atong self, atong totally ma. Um, Itawag na ito, masubmit na ito si Ginoon. Mm -hmm. That's the right time na uh, everything will follow. That's Maybe. true. And also, it is recorded that they prayed with humble hearts. Yeah. And they showed true repentance because of their unbelief. No? Kanang sila nakita ginila nga ni, ni ascend ang Ginoon. Mm -hmm. What kind of power is that? <coughs> and he even promised that He will give us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, when they prayed, walay, walay ako, ako Lord, tagay kong, yes. ako Lord, tagay kong mm -hmm. inani. Wala siya'y selfishness. It was very, it was very selfless, kumbaga. Yes. Nga, how often can we pray, mahonahuna taba, how often can we pray na selfless ato ang pag-ampo? And I think one very main ingredient also, ato nga prayer nga nung bitubagid sila ang and there was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit because they were in one heart. They were in one accord. Una ata sa isa ka, in the upper room, in the temple, dili man all the time, no? Nga pareha tag prayers. But if pareha day ta o prayers tanan, selfless, and para sa ginoo for the salvation we have the hearts that are burdened for the salvation of the souls grabe di ay ang ka amazing kung pwede mahimo sa holy spirit para sa ato ang kanan one thing that we would like to emulate <coughs> kapag lao mo ni nga kana gitawag na to ba nga we try to establish a relationship towards god number mm. one we mm. should know him mo bitaw na nga dui tawag nato attributes sa attributes ginoo ko nakahibaluta he is eternal he is immutable 
His omniscience, omnipotence, or omnibulent. Kung ang tao nakahibaw ng mao din na ginawa, huwag ito ay ang kabalakan. Sa ato pa, kung ato ay salig ni Antanan, sa ato pa, may ingon mag ginawa nga, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Na-experensyahan niya sa mga tinuunan, sa diha ga ilan naging tinuod, nga gihimo nga na-establish mo, ay mao din kagamhan na ginawa ni Lupa, doon niya na banhaw, doon niya sa dinhita, giayo niya masagiton. Di na na-establish nila nga, ang gitawag na ito, ang pag-attribute sa pag-inoon na establish na sila ko kayo. Mm. So, doon na na sila strength, no? To believe, o niya, to witness na kinaya mong isulit ni Tino Orion. Mm. And so, moving into the story of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2, di rin na ito nakita nga, while they were gathered together in the upper room or sa other versions sa temple, they were filled with the Holy Spirit with to outpour. And what's so amazing kay ang emblem kung baga sa nga giaupur ang Holy Spirit is they were able to speak different languages and they were very fluent, no? How amazing could that be? Nga maybe it would take a lifetime for us to very very to be very fluent in a certain language unless na lang kung nagitay gift ay na no pero sa ila right then and there they were able to speak the language. And kabalutan nga, they were just ordinary people. Wala sila nag-learn. Kung sa itong time karoon, pwila yung bayad ka. Ano kung mag-learn ka ang French o mag-palessons ka. And ato sa yung ma-learn di ha, no, na regardless of who we are, as long as we submit ourselves to God, gamitin yun po ta sa gino, if we are willing and we have the heart to serve Him. So, sa nagkalain-lain nga ministries, dahil lahat ng background, but if we offer this service to God, iya jutang tabangan aron magamit ng maayon. So as what happened to, there was a miracle that dihadiha dayon, makabalus sila sa languages. Aron sila makakommunicate to different people in different speaking different languages. That's true. And even sa tong time karon, no, kinahalan gin gihapon ng mga learn taglay ng language, dahil like para makakomunikin kita mas effective ka sa tong ministry. And also, there's a wonderful line in the the commentary kapag lamang nand and pastor na even the stammering tongues. Kana ba tao magkanga kanga or gilid fluent magstorya? Pwede siya maanlusan para fluent ka magspeak. Kung you're so timid, you're so shy, nga, ay, maulaw ko kayo naging kayong tao, or even kita na nga, ulaw mo kita sa camera before, pero, yeah, for the Lord, we can do this. For the Lord, mabuhat na yun. Mabaga nag naong. Mabaga nag naong, but on the positive scripting, no, we became so courageous to speak about God's goodness sa ito, ang kinabuhin, nga, mahimo po siyang mensahe para sa uban. So, one time, I experienced during the gitawag na ito, nga, kanang program mabito nga gimo karong nga club din si Toastmaster Club kanya I was assigned to speak with the six minutes kanya usay topic paghatag topic tindog dayon ka yung six minutes buwan naman ko yun na himo si Lord please help me pero nakadeliver ko exact din pag ingol six minutes pagpakan ka nga isak tog yung six minutes ba ang six minutes nga delivery siya ni Moses sa katapik uyo wakang kahibalo pero kanya kibaw ba yung ganang ganang International club, di ba na? Then he's a Cebu. Like the debate club, also nga. You're very specific at times. It's God, no? Nagino ano gini gamit ato kay kibalo ba yaga sa ato ng kapasidad? Yeah, and the Lord will really fill in all our deficiencies if we make ourselves readily available for the Holy Spirit. Nga mahimo tayong effective in the ministry. How wonderful it is, no? Nga you can be. Very amazing and very effective in the ministry. Kung i-allow lang ni mo ang ginoo, nagamitan ka. Doon ay statement na si Ellen White na ingo nga, There is no limit of one who submit himself to God and giving wrong of the Holy Spirit. Sa ato pa, dili yung ko ng estimate. Oo. Nga hangtod kayo mo kita nga ang ginoo may perform na sa kinabuhay sa usaping sabi niya. Wow, it's so wonderful and such a wonderful lesson that we've learned, Kau, mga kapaglaom this morning, about the story of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Isn't it amazing? From time and even sa tong world, we've learned about the story of the Tao of 
uh, Babel when the world was divided because of rebellion and how these barriers were united for the purpose of proclaiming God's gospel Amen. at the Pentecost, uh, you mentioned it, Pastor Ganina. This miraculous gift was a strong evidence to the world that the disciples' commission was from heaven. It was not their own. Yes, kapag laong che. Pagkahuman ato, natingala ang mga katauhan nga nung gasturya sa uh, nagkadaiyang mga lingwahe ang mga disipulo. So, this was an emblem of the gift then uh, that uh, was bestowed on the disciples. So, which enabled them to speak with fluent, uh, fluency in languages which they did not know even before. So, the appearance of fire signified the fervent zeal which the apostles would labor and power that would attend their work. Sakto ka na kapag laong rinan, kapag laong che, o nasayol ba mo kapag laong na ikaw, ako, modernong panahon, disipulo sa ginoo. Praise the Lord for that. The Pentecostal outpouring was heaven's communication that the Redeemer's inauguration was accomplished. According to His promise, God has sent the Holy Spirit from heaven to His followers as a token that He had received all authority in heaven and on earth, and was the unwanted one over His people. Yes, He was indeed the anointed one. We praise God for the victory He gave to the disciples at time and to the time to come, because it shall come to pass in the last days that God will pour out His Spirit upon all people, and even your sons and daughters mm -hmm. shall Pray. prophesy and dream visions. That's found in Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Amen, kapag laong che. As we come nearer to the second coming of Christ, mga kapaglao, may we, like the disciples, prepare ourselves earnestly, asking the Holy Spirit to guide us, especially in the saving of souls. Yeah, Amen. That's right. We thank you so much for uh, being with us. And stay tuned, mga kapaglao. We'll be back after this short break.
welcome back to Let's Pray Visayas. If his eye is on the sparrow, he also watches you and me. It's such right. a wonderful song, right? Kay Paolo, ka, uh, kapag laong siya, ang saan asa akong mga favorites? Kay, grabe yun ang promise na ginuod niya nga um, part sa kanta, no? Mm -hmm. nga, even on the sparrows, mm -hmm. he watches over them. How much more sa ato, ano? Oh. How concerned you are today. He is always kanang mindful of us. Yes. All right, and mga kapaglam, we have a caller on the line right now. Hello? Hello! Hello, good morning. Welcome to Let's Pray Visayas. Good morning! May, yes, may know who's on the line, please? Uh, this is Ariona. Hi there, Ariona. Welcome. Uh, can I ask for your last name and your location? Um, I'm Ariana Ronald. I'm from AUP. Oh, magandang umaga. Oh, magandang AUP, umaga. Adventist from University AUP. of the Philippines. Kumusta kayo dyan? We're okay. But I'm not Filipino, I'm Malaysian. Oh, oh alright. Yes. I need to speak in English. <laughs> oh, alright, this is speaking of tongues. Now we, we talked about <laughs> yes, that earlier. Yes. Oh, okay. Good morning, Ariana, and to the entire AUP community. Yes. Um, what is your prayer request or praise report this morning? So this morning, my special prayer request is to to pray for so my friend Abby and Alexa to to have genuine reconciliation. Oh, wow! Oh. Ano matash ko always mga prayer requests? Wow, it is such a wonderful prayer request, Ariana, and you're also mindful for it. the people around yes. you and to, to your friends. Please stay on the line as we pray for you. Shall we pray for them, Pastor? Okay, could you join with us, Ariana? Shall we bow our heads? Okay. Father in heaven, we are so happy for this privilege to bring to you all our burdens, our desires, just like Ariana. She is here, Lord, because He wants to have peace of mind and joy. Despite of this uh, problem, we are so happy that He is willing to submit herself, to accept your idea, and to live according to your purpose. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you provide here a brief enough to face such kind of problem, to talk to those people, who is the right person to talk regarding this case because through your power to touch also the hearts of the other people they could have a good communication they could have peace of mind to join together to do their best for your glory you know Heavenly Father maybe they are all students they are striving, striving their best for their progress and also for their career but be with them because on this earth we are human and many times we fall but we are so happy that you are so great to uphold our hands to give us peace and joy to accept your love and also your character to uh, be our character by internalize your life in our lives daily. Provide them, Lord, any way and circumstances to be able to meet and to talk over about the thing in order that they could have a good communication, that they will be a blessing to those people whom they associate. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers because there's nothing is hard for you because you are the master of all, the master of communication. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Ariana Rinal from the Adventist University of the Philippines. Suddenly, bigla ko na-miss yung silang, pero hindi ako sure sa Tagalog. <laughs> no, grabe, speaking of tongues, puday kayo, takarabun taga. No? Alright. Yes, and that's nice, no? Nga, when someone prays for you, um, if you have kanang you need reconciliation, but naman yes. kita mga differences. Mm, yes. Sa ato palang dang upbringing sa atong character, nagi panahon nga dita magkasinabtanay. And I think that's normal, no? It yeah. really happens. But, yeah, as a human, human nature, that is in. Mm -hmm. But it is only to struggle day by day. That's why St. Paul says na, uh, gida oguna. Uh, Doon ako ay, I die daily. Kaya nagigamit niya, nagpagkamatay siya kada adlaw. Mm. Because 
uh, sa gamay ra nato nga bikil usay magaisulto ta magapasakit ta that is human nature yes. and it needs to what to wash out mao nga do na tay gitawag nato communion service kita mm -hmm. nato foot washing yes. because for that reason uh -oh. yeah and it's also a nice kanang i don't know advice from a friend nga ako gid pud siyang na 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 experience ba <laughs> when you're struggling with someone kay naba moy differences na lain baka but you are really praying oh lord gusto ko nga mawala na ni nga di na ko malain sa iya ha gusto ko nga okay na balik ang relationship ang technique di ay makapaglove is magnify the good in that person if we focus on what is good in his character kung unsa di ni siya kung during the good times nga wala ka nalain sa iya ha unsa ang naa sa iya ha nga gusto unta nimo ma-emulate sa imong self and when we focus on the good things mas lighter nato siya ang dalo na nato ang targets yeah. and definitely when we pray about it mas relax no mas yes. gaan nimo ang heart and this is such a great privilege that we were given the chance to pray by any time yeah. it's so wonderful to I uh, think that we have the gift of prayer. Yeah, yes, kapag laom rinan, kapag laom che, I experienced many times before mm. when I was in the district. Na sometimes there are a lot of people, uh, doon ay mga comments ni mo ba, sometimes mm -hmm. nila itinuod. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, giunsa na ang kugda, pero gano'y nga, iampo na ini mo. Oh. Every 30 minutes, gihim mo na ako nga magampo ko para siyang kayuhan, ang ginugiya. Pagkakita ko niya, instead, Lahi ako pati ang maluoy ko niya. I learned to love mm -hmm. and those uh, negative feelings na mawa ko niya. Pagkita niya mga doon nag power. There is yeah. power. When we love the person, no, malinta na ito. Nga natin yeah. mga gipang bati ng bugat. And so we'll proceed with more prayer requests kapag lang Renan. Yes. Um, natay prayer request di kan sa 6023. Please pray for my daughter's April Grace Canonigo that her application for Singapore uh, will be successful and uh, Jaira uh, as well in her work in Gikanisa uh, Kasoy Church or rather they would want us to pray for Kasoy Church para sa renovation. Mm. Ah, all right and uh, my son Ephraim Kanunigo uh, be hired on a day shift. Hindi po trabaho limning magtrabaho tagabi ino makarelate ani so daghan tag mga answered prayers for that. Gikan sa 8810, maayong buntag o happy Sabbath, mga kapaglaom. Ako na po ipapray ang akong anak na karoon ang result sa fire na unta si Yamo Pasar. Sa exam. Yeah. Right. So, gikan ni sa akang uh, elder Ismael Fernandez at uh, Kabangahan SDA Church in wow, Bukidnon. Wow, Bukidnon. Yes. I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, um, Another prayer request, uh, Gikan sa 1787, Good morning, Happy Sabbath mga igsoon. Prayer request na ko para ni Leonisa Villanueva sa iyang sakit nga lupus. Alright, so, uh, pas uh, Pastor, can we please pray uh, for them? Okay. Thank you so much. Kung hindi ako mas pag-join na, mas pag-ampo. Our Father, we charge in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We are here with a special purpose to bring the burdens of our brethren because they believe that this program they will be benefited through uh, doing their part to submit themselves, the burden to you because they believe you are powerful enough to handle and to answer all their needs. At this point, we'd like to pray for the family of Canonigo. You know, Holy Father, the coming exam, and also some problems that will be encountered. You know, Holy Father, their plans and their lives, together with the Fernandez family, regarding the eggs, result of the exam of his son. We would like to pray also for the request uh, coming from Kasoy Church of the Church Renovation and also for another shape of works that will be given to his son, including the request of Sister Lunisa uh, of her problem about, uh, about this lupus problem. Heavenly Father, we are confident enough 
that the God whom we serve is a powerful God, a living God, a wonderful God who could do the impossible things because there's nothing is so hard for you once you believe. At this point, I would like to bring their hearts and minds together with you to be melted to the Holy Spirit in order to accept all your promise, to believe your words, to trust your promise that once we will cling to you, once you will enter when miracle happens. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers because we do these things because you could not be able to fill all our requests because you are willing to answer, to prove to the world that there is a living God, a personal God, willing to answer our needs in times of crisis. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Hang your helpless souls to Christ, abide in the vine, and bear fruit to His glory. That's a wonderful uh, promise and reminder for all of us from Reflecting Christ, page 286. For more prayer requests, we have a message from A089. Good morning, happy, Sab happy Sabbath. I'm from SCLC. exactly meaning Please pray for my health. Thank you, and God bless your program. Thank you as well. Another message from 8143. Please kindly pray for me po to have a Saturday off so that I can go to church and have time to worship God. Pray as well for baby Seth. Nga kagagawa lang sa... Maybe kagagawa lang ni. Bago lang na-discharge sa hospital. To have good health and faith. Nga dilit na masakit iyang tiil o heart. Kay di na siya magka-migraine. Please I'll also pray to my for my uncle Rene, Steve Ukag, who is still recovering from a head major surgery and please pray also to all the Pareño and Andrade, Ukag and Arabia family and to all my friends uh, na good health. Thank you so much and happy Sabbath once again. Oh no, ang kanin mga head injuries in England din siya og time put to recover. Yes. Very sensitive um, mm -hmm. surgery no. And uh, also sa mga na mention niya nga prayer requests um, um, day off sa oh, Sabado. Sabado. Kapag laong natay daghan nga answered prayer ana. Yes. So ampo lang jud ana. <laughs> so bagon lang na sa Ginoo jud. Ay lang you give up. Yes, yeah. do not give up. Ampo lang jud. Yes, yeah, so shall we pray for them, Pastor? Mm -hmm. Ako will remind ba nga sa adya sa Ginoo ni unsa nga once you pray and believe mm -hmm. and then you will receive. Okay. So at this point <clears throat> atong ibutang ang tanan sa Ginoo alang sa atong pagampo, pagampo ta Ginoo. Salamat kay mo sa higayon na imong ihatag na mo. Niya kami uban sa pagtuo na imong isaad na ang among mga pagkinhanglan ang problema in mo solbaron. Gidala na mo ron. Minitak na aginoo ang among isoon na donay soliran na nagkinhanglan o intervention ni mo ang iyang trabaho na matagan siya ang day of Lord sa adlong ipapulay. O sa akin ay kaseryos kabutang nga naka epekto sa among pagpangalagad o sa among presentation ginoon ni na pinagi siya pagtuo tubaga pinagi siya mo pagbisita o pagpadamgo ni ining mga tawo nga in charge ni ang duawon ihatag ni ang kaisog nga sa dili nga panahon ginoo i grant ang iyang gipangayo tungod kay wa may lisod ni mo ginoo sa dili ang mutuo kami og mihimo sa among desisyon sa pagdedikar kanimo ang iyang baby nga na problema ginoo may tungod sa heart may tungod sa iyang migraine o tungod ni ining nagkalaing suliran nga giantos ayuha ipakita sa ilang pamilya nga sa diha kung among ididikar am ko galingon ikaw anda mo mutabang kitak na among giampo sa bang usa ka request sa iyang uyoan nga si Rene nga nakaandar gihan og surgery lord sa iyang duol nga recovery iligay gika sa mga infection o among giampo ang mga panunay ni mong pag-uban sa mga ministry ng Himonilas mga parinyo, mga Andrade, Ukag o Arabia, magapadayon o magaayo sa ilang mga balatian ng ilang angkon. Talagun kaginosaway katapusan, imong himaya, gikan sa siugdanan 
O takos ikaw mga kasamatan tungod kay naa nimo ang gahom, naa nimo ang kontrol, o naa nimo ang gugma sa ngalan ni Jesus. Thank you so much for the prayer. And mga kapaglaom, if you have just tuned in, you can actually send or call us on the hotline numbers if you have prayer requests or praise reports. And we have another caller yes. on the line right now. Hello? 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 Good morning. Welcome to Good Let's morning. Pray Messiahs. Um, this is Anne Jeanette Orozco. Hi, Anne. Maing buntag. Hello! May muntah straight from Cebu. Yes. <laughs> Kumusta man? Happy Sabbath, Diha. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Good morning, Ange. What is your prayer request or praise report today? Akong prayer request di ay karoon is include ang tak ninyo ang ako ang brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, brother Arna nga mabalik na po siya sa pagsimba. Okay. Wala na siya simba-simba po. Mm-hmm. Okay. And ang um, upod ipa-appeal sa Sea Pites ang um, upcoming youth revival ka ng October 29 to November 4. Kinanglan din may ugdaghan nga pag-ampo. Okay. We will surely pray for that and we will attend. Yes. Kas <laughs> dire yeah, okay. sa Cebu. Home court uh, advantage. Uh, uh. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we will surely pray for your brother Arnel and for the preparations for the upcoming C pipes on October 29th to November 4 here in Cebu. Stay yes. on the line and as we pray for you. October. Thank you so much. October 29th to November 4. It's actually open to everyone anywhere you are in the Philippines or sa lain ng country. Mm-hmm. C pipes is open. Can we will be posting more information about the event on the C Pipes official Facebook page. Yes. Shall we pray? Okay, magamboda. You know, amo kang gipasamatan karon buntaga. Sa katingalahan ni mo gihimo nga naay mga batan-on nga nagapadayag sa ilang gugma, pagdedikar sa ilang panahon, sa ilang talento diha nimo. Amo giampo Ginoo ang umaabot nga meeting sa C5 karong October 29 to November 4. Ihatag isaktong panahon, pagpangandam, mga tao nga ilang giinbitar o ang mga speakers na ining panahon na. Imo ang usak na kong celebration, kadaugan sa imong mga katawahan. Nintak na aginuwa mong i-appeal sa pag-ampo si Brother Arnel Handom niyang mabalik na despagtoo. Ang kalibutan nga maoy mi gakos niya tungod ni ining mga pangandoy. Ihatag kalinaw, pagsabot, nga kini mabutang as kalibutan, among bihaan. Ang importante, nga kini among kinabuhi, nga among ipuyo, din he, dumalabay lamang. Magpuyo kami sa pipila katuigan, apan ikaw doon ay saad, nga dili mabilhan, nga katuigan, nga way katapusan, o ang sorpas, peace, and joy, kauban ni Gino Jesus diha si Maya. Tudloy kami sa pag-ila, tudloy kami sa pagsabot, Aron makita na mga kamaturan ang pagkinabuhi siya ginoo diha ni mo sa sayo nga panahon. Hatagi siya sa kumsansya ko kinanglan. Nga kining tuiga sa di pa matapos, makita na mga si Brother Arnil diha sa kaaktib pagbalik sa buhat. Sa ngalan ni Sos. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And mga kapaglaong, we have a lot to share on daghan pang mga testimonies nga atong nasaksihan o sabi dari sa Let's Pray Visayas Ministry uh, prayer asked in faith will surely have its answers in God's will ano yung isa sa atong mga kapaglaw nga mag-share sa ihang experience sa home sa ginoo pinaagi sa pag-ampo let's watch this why does God ask us to pray when God is God and uh, He knows the end from the beginning and why is it God would like us to, to pray? Like the apostles of old, He asked God, teach us to pray. And even to us today, God says, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. I think God gave us the privilege to have a close relationship with Him. Because according to Sister Ellen White, Prayer is the key in the hands of faith that unlocks heaven's storehouse. That's why as a part of God's family, we need to open our hearts to Him and ask Him what we need 
and what even what we want. In our experience in life, as uh, I worked uh, in the work of God for 42 years, I have met many answered prayers in my ministry, especially in terms of uh, our safety in uh, the ministry while our travel and uh, doing the work of God. And even during a financial crisis, God helped us, especially in the education of our children. And uh, we are pleased to inform you that God answers all our prayers. And please don't forget to pray always, and uh, specifically using the intercessory prayer as Paul teaches us to intercede for others and to ourselves uh, also. May this uh, short uh, encouragement to all of us, to our viewers, again, God is a God of promises and He answered prayers. When He said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened. Because prayer is the key in the hands of faith where heaven that opens and unlocks heaven's storehouse where there is, where there is a boundless resources in Him. Thank you and God bless. Dagan kayong salamat. Kapaglaong Pastor Elmer Pagunsan. Yes, our atong, very own. Yes, pagsasad <laughs> siya sa ato ang mga co-hosts sa oh, uh, yeah. Let's Pray the Sayas. Indeed mga kapaglaom, an answered prayer is a blessing itself. O mamahimo pakining mahimong instrument para ma-share sa ginoo sa katawhan. So with these words printed to letters, we have also glow tracts that uh, you could share to your friends and people. So let's watch this video. How far will this paper go if we turn it into this? You can share it to a friend. Who can possibly pass it to a medical doctor who reads a lot? This can also reach the hands of a patient and his family who wants to practice healthy lifestyle. Or you can share this to your boss to lighten up his day. To a man who desires to make better choices. to a jeepney passenger whose deep thoughts are running through his head. To a child who wants to understand why her grandma passed away. To a vendor who longs to know the essence of life. To a fruit vendor who wants to share happiness. Or to a weary laborer who wants to be reminded that all our labors are not in vain. Comfort, hope, joy, love, long-suffering, these are some of the thousands of possibilities this simple piece of paper can do. Share a GLOW track today. Visayan GLOW is now available at the Central Visayan Conference. You may contact us and like us on Facebook. Ang GLOW tracks mga kapaglam, available na both in English and Cebuano version. If you want to get a copy, contact us at 0995-835-5343 for Globe subscribers or to 0923-641-90... I'm sorry, that's 0923-641-9036 for Sun subscribers.
That's right. Just contact numbers mentioned para maabil ang Glow Drugs. Thank you for watch, watching Let's Pray Bizayas. Antod sa sunod sa bado mga kapaglaom, this is Kapaglaom Chef from Hope Channel, Visayas. Tagayangan, delight yourselves in the Lord for He will give you the desires of your heart. Everyone is welcome to send your prayer requests and thanks regardless of your gender, race, or religion. Let every Christian look upon God with guidance. See you next week mga kapaglaom. This is Kapaglaom Renan from Hope Channel, Visayas saying, Cast thy burden on the Lord and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Salamat pag sa inyong pakiguban din he sa atong tulong manon kapaglaom hangtod sa sunod sa bado. Ayaw kalimot sa susamang oras o susamang istasyon kini ang inyong kapaglaom Rumi from Hope Channel Bisayas naging on. Let's pray without ceasing. Kami makiguban usab kaninyo sa sunod nga sa bado kay din he sa Let's Pray Bisayas. Dili ka magisara sa pagampo. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath.